Welcome back to Pulse of the Port. SSA Terminals has 10 massive gantry cranes and 10 rubber tire gantry cranes, and these machines are the heartbeat of the terminal, which is why the crane shop is so important. All right, Dave, I know you have a specialized shop just for the cranes here, but these things are way bigger than this little building over here. How do you keep everything in tip-top shape? Well, the most important aspect of the crane maintenance is the inspection and the adjustments that are uh, constantly needed. And to do that, you've got to be on the equipment. So we have these vans to send the guys out to the cranes, and they spend a great deal of their time up on the machinery in order to make sure it's working. And when we're running live operations, they're observing uh, how they're operating as well. Now the goods these cranes carry often wind up in huge warehousing and distribution centers, like the one you'll see in this next segment. What do you think this Sears store has in common with the Port of Long Beach and this 200,000 square foot distribution center in the city of industry? For over 40 years, Sears has been one of Sears key distribution partners, receiving imported apparel and footwear from Asia through the Port of Long Beach, transporting it to this warehouse then repackaging and shipping it out as needed to stores in the USA, Canada, and Mexico. Keeping up with the demands of over 1,200 stores on a daily basis is what they do best. This is a perfect example of how we break down the goods and then these boxes are allocated to each store that the product goes to. So they pick and pack the product, they put it in the box, it goes off on UPS or FedEx to the store. Sears is only one of their numerous clients that is benefiting from Sears becoming designated as a foreign trade zone. This special status enables importers and exporters who use Sears warehousing and distribution services to defer duties and taxes. To give an example, the tequila will come across the border and most clients uh, that use other warehouses will uh, clear, the uh, clear the goods and pay the taxes at the time. But our clients move it in bond to us, they don't pay taxes and they bring in the foreign trade zone. We deconsolidate the goods, put them in the uh, warehouse. They stay about six months to a year. And then as they find buyers in the US, they will pay the taxes on the goods that leave. So when you consider it in layman's terms, if you pay $100,000 in duty on that product, you don't have to pay that 100,000 and you can use that for other things. The Foreign Trade Zone program was created in 1934 to stimulate economic development, promote international trade, and create U.S. jobs. Today, the Port of Long Beach is responsible for helping manage a customs privilege area named FTZ50, which encompasses a number of individual logistics businesses located within 60 miles of the waterfront. Other benefits include um, getting your goods out of the port quickly, a lot of times customs wants to examine your goods. If it comes to a foreign trade zone, it gets expedited services and it comes to the zone and a lot of times you avoid that examination and the high fees you have to pay. CIRIC is just one of the numerous third-party logistics companies operating in FTZ50, the secure, access-restricted, customs and border protection privileged area where merchandise can be stored, inspected, repaired, tested, repackaged, assembled, or otherwise manipulated duty free. We love that term, one stop shop, we use it every day. As you just saw, it pays to be in the zone, the foreign trade zone. After the break, we'll visit another crucial department within the SSA Terminals Maintenance Division and more. Stay tuned. <laughs> 